and beware, these Jayhawks can play a little football too. And while today is the final home game of the season for one team, it is more importantly a celebration, Senior Day, as we'll see the number two team in the country, the Colorado Buffaloes, taking on a squad hoping to prevent another L this week, the Kansas Jayhawks. 48 Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, joined here in the booth by... He'll do it himself. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. A negative play to open the drive. Let's see what they've got on second and 14. To the air, it's Daniels. They're bringing heat. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. I'm not sure you have much in the script to convert a third and this long on the opening drive. Looking downfield, and he needs a bunch. And this defense goes back-to-back -back sack, Jack. Man, you talk all week about setting the tone, quieting this crowd. Don't let him get involved. You know how you do that? Get a sack and force a punt on the first possession of the football game. That's a heck of a start for this defense. Sometimes avoiding disaster is the best thing. The punter just gets it out of there. on the RPO. He's brought down solid. Pick up a little bit short of the first down. Here on second and short. They'll give it to the back. Look at that toughness just running through everybody. They finally get him on the ground with a big running play moves to change for the first down. And here we go. If you're an offense, you've got to get that ground game going so you can have some balance, and then you give it to your quarterback, Palmer, and let him make some plays down the field later on. Yeah, exactly. You know, coming into this game, this offense knew they were going to have to... And he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. And those are so frustrating when you're a defense and you swarm to the football and you stick the quarterback and you make him cough it up just to have the other team recover it again, and you don't get it. Still a good stick, still a good physical play. Keep hitting that quarterback. Nowhere to go, and the ball is loose. The defense snatches it, and they're going the other way. Flying down the left side. Moves. Going to run it. It's Neal. A collision, and he stopped at the 27 after picking up one. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. Scanning the field. It's Daniels. Escapes the sack. And they get to the quarterback and knock him down back at the 16. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. The Jayhawks will punt this one away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. He's got great speed. Leaves it with the running back. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. Quick pass on the fly motion. Fighting off the defender. That run epitomizes a veteran, savvy senior who knows how to find space. On first down, here comes this offense. Use the play fake, now to throw. And he's feeling the heat and he will go down. Final play of the first quarter and not the way he wanted to end it. Guys, Colorado has the lead here.
They came here to find a way to answer. From the gun, the ground game. Running with power. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And those are the plays you dream about. You blitz, you bring the absolute lumber. Those big hits, man, those can set the tone. And that makes a decision for this offensive player. Do I really want to go near that guy again? And the Jayhawks will call on their punt team. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense. Leaves it with the back. They knock him down right there. Everybody talks about DBs. They talk about dropping the coverage and not being physical. <laughs> that DB begs to differ. Great tackle coming up, playing physical like a linebacker. That pass is incomplete, and they might be fortunate. It wasn't knocked free for a fumble. It'll be third down. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Throws into double coverage, and it's picked off. Looking downfield, it's Daniels. Dances away. At the 35, he's open. He turns this into a nice gain and gets down to avoid the hit. That last play is what you call a drive starter. They're out to the 47. It's first down. He's looking to throw it. Coming after him. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. The Jayhawks will hustle to the line. Second down. On second down, looking to throw. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. And we might as well state the obvious. First and second down didn't work out. Third and very long. They go to the ground. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Great job by the whole defense, but how about the little bit of defensive back throwing his face in the fan? I ain't scared. I don't just cover, guys. I think. Easy. Trying to find his man on first down. Using the quick game. Got room at the 35. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. The offense getting set for a first down from the 45. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed over the middle. It's Wilson. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground covered. Pick up the first. He leaves it with the back. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing left? And this offense just has to find a way to convert this third down, or else they are really in trouble. Oh, he just flat dropped it. He had the ball and didn't look it all the way in, and it'll be fourth down. And the Jayhawks will send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. Bringing it back, it's Horn. Never had a chance. He leaves it with his back. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Went with the running game on first down. Now back at it. They'll go to the ground. He works his way down to the 30-yard line before he stopped a gain of three. They've worked it down to the 30. This defense standing tall trying to force a field goal try. Looking to throw, it's Daniels. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. And here comes the field goal unit. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. They put on the heat and they blocked it. Yeah, that pretty much sums On the run, it's Neal. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Got a little work done on first down, now back to the line. Lasso, lasso. Lost a fire on second down. 
still on his feet. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. This is a third and long. And this offensive line's got to do a better job. Man, you've got to protect your quarterback. Listen, this offense is not playing great. They got to somehow find a way to start the game. And the pressure gets to him again. Another sack. Number 95 in punt formation to kick it away. He gets a block. Store we'll see as we start the fourth. Looking to go up top on first down. Grabbed in the backfield. It's Neal. And he is run out of bounds as they go backwards there and just avoided the contact. Love the awareness by the defense here. They're trying to get the running back the ball in space, but the defense... And the pressure gets him back at the eight-yard line. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Back to pass. It's Daniels getting some heat. He just kept going backwards. You have to step up, and they get him for a safety. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. First down for this offense. He's going to pass. And the quarterback is sacked. There are penalty flags down, but this might be doubly bad for the offense. I think the penalty might be on them. Holding penalties, the ultimate drive killer. We'll see if it costs this offense here. Looking for a productive play on first down. Safe completion on the screen. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play. Able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Caught in the backfield, it's Neal. Ball score. The give to the single back. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. How about the job by this defense? They knew what they were getting into. A really good running back. We talked to him this week. It was the main focus point of this offense. Stopping the run game. Stopping the run game. Boy, have they showed up and showed out and answered that challenge. You've got a third and manageable, backed up in your own end, but convert here and you get some momentum. Grab behind the line, it's Neal. And the completion gives him a fresh set of downs and keeps this drive moving. The Jayhawks with the first and ten. Well, look, that wasn't a touchdown, but that was a massive play for this offense. They needed some momentum. They needed to find a rhythm and what better way than converting on third down. Awesome job by the quarterback. Dropping back, it's Daniels. Fires to the right. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away, incomplete. It's third down now. They ought to be able to get off one more play before the two-minute warning. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the wideout. Another incompletion on third down. We hit the two-minute warning, and this offense is desperate to make something happen and do it in a hurry. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. On the return, it's Miller. That nifty... Here we go! They're going to throw it to start the drive. Got him downfield! And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on them. After the big play to start, now they are on the move at their own 45. Here we go! To the air on first down. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. And man, is that a just indictment of the day. Your quarterback getting drilled late in the football game. This offense has sputtered. They haven't found any kind of good rhythm. They haven't done things that, that really gives your coach confidence and, and makes you want to believe in them. This offense has a lot of... And this defense is bringing the heat. Another sack. I'm not positive, but that first down marker might be in the next county. On third and long, hoping to throw beyond the sticks. 
And that one's incomplete. They weren't just trying to move the chains. They were trying to move the scoreboard instead. It's fourth down. And the Jayhawks decide to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Perhaps feeling that coverage coming. When you know you have a team out fast, the ability to play to that standard and finish with a blowout like this is really impressive. And it's almost like playing against yourself, right?